name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Well, my dear brothers, it is wonderful to be here on this mountain with our Lord, privileged to be here. Um, there has been, from our, the very beginning of our pilgrimage, um, some tension around language. Um, but this is part of our challenge. This is part of our gift. One of the things that I enjoyed most was the fact that in silence we communicated the best. In silence I got to know some of you um, across the table. Now that we can speak, I can't understand Carlos. But we continue to communicate in this most precious way. Uh, unfortunately, the Mass will be in English because to say it in Latin would be a sin in itself for me um, to uh, destroy the language of Latin. So let us pray together on this mountain of the Lord, asking for our hearts to be transfigured uh, in the presence of the Lord in a very special way. I invite you to bring those people that have supported you to be here, the ones that need our prayers, the ones that need to experience the transfiguration of the Lord. Let's bring them all here in the silence of our prayer. <clears throat> Conscious of our need for God's great compassion in our lives, let us turn to God and ask for him for his forgiveness and uh, compassion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. My fault through my fault through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Oh. 
of your only begotten Son, here confirm the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship. Grant, we pray, to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was snow bright, and the hair so on his head he as white as wool. His throne this. was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads <coughs> upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books, the books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one, and was presented before him, he received dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and peoples of every language served him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. <clears throat> Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord, the Lord is, is King, King, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many islands be glad. Cloud and darkness surround him. Justice and right are the foundation of his throne. The Lord, the Lord is King, King the Most High of the Earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim His justice, all peoples see His glory. The Lord is King, the Most High of the Earth. For you, Lord, are the Most High over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. The Lord, the Lord is the King, King, the most high of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Brothers, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we had been eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received honour and glory from God the Father. When that <coughs> declaration came to him 
from the majestic glory. This is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on this holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to, to this, as to a lamp shining in a dark place, until day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. God. Alleluia, Alleluia. 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 Alleluia.
the interpretation that it is, repre it is representative of both the law of Moses, which Moses gave to the Israelites, the Jewish people, the people of God, and then were given to us as Christians. And Elijah, representative of the prophets, one of the greatest, if not the greatest, of the prophets, along with the many others who had all prefigured Christ, the coming of the Son of God, the Messiah, long awaited. Even though all the prophets had different messages and different things to say, in some way or another, they all led up to and were an example of the coming of the Messiah. We even see that in the reading from Daniel, especially as he prefigures this event of the transfiguration. And what we see in this event, this is so important because, as I said, that <clears throat> we see the revelation of the Trinity in this. One of only two times where it is explicitly, the Trinity is explicitly revealed, aside from the Great Commission, which Jesus teaches us about the Trinity. But those two times, we were able to, those two events, we were able to experience the places where they happened. One, of course, this morning, at the Jordan River, when Jesus was baptized, where we were able to renew our baptismal promises. And you, my dear fathers, were able to renew your priestly vows. That happened at the beginning of Jesus' ministry. But then also, at the end of his ministry, towards the end, as he was about to come to Jerusalem, or go to Jerusalem, a Jerusalem as he was transfigured, transfigurado. Y mientras conversaba con Elias y Moisés, vemos de nuevo, vemos de nuevo la acción de la Trinidad. Vemos al Padre que dice, este es mi Hijo amado. La acción del Espíritu Santo y la persona de Jesús. Ambos divino y humano. El misterio de la Trinidad fue revelado en un mes de modo tan claro en estas dos ocasiones que es sorprendente. Y hay otros otros lugares donde otras, eh, otras cosas han sido dichas por los santos, cosas de nuestra, de nuestra Señor, que son importantes también para nuestra fe. Pero cuando vemos el misterio central de nuestra fe revelado en estos dos lugares santos, no podemos sino sentirnos honrados y privilegiados de adorar a Dios en estos lugares juntos. Así que verdaderamente es bueno que estamos aquí. Pero también vemos que las palabras que fueron habladas y que están siendo dirigidas a ti directamente, esto es mi hijo muy amado, que hemos escuchado tantas veces, dirigido a la gente de Dios, a los reyes, reyes de Israel o a Jesús mismo. Y pueden ser ahora relacionados a ti. Porque en cada ordenación al sacerdocio, tú eres conformado, transfigurado en Cristo. Tú fuiste cambiado completamente en un ser nuevo. Totalmente. Pues tú eres un otro Cristo un alter Cristo, uno capaz de reflejar a Jesús en todo lo que hace. Recuerdo en algunos años cuando el Papa Benedicto XVI visitó Estados Unidos, en Nueva York y Washington, yo pude ir a las reuniones en Nueva York. Y una cosa que él dijo cuando habló con los seminaristas es que nos dijo teníamos que ser iconos de Cristo. Y eso se me quedó mucho, muy profundo. En, a mí y a varios hermanos míos. Esto no es solamente para seminaristas o diáconos, pero sobre todo para diáconos. Pues ustedes son iconos de Cristo. Tú debes representarlo, mostrarlo, ser capaz de mostrar a Jesús. Que alguien cuando te vea, vean a Cristo mismo. Así que cuando refle eh, 
reflexionamos en estas palabras, tú eres el Hijo amado de Dios. Tú eres amado por Dios. Dios está feliz contigo, con tu ministerio. Él te llama a continuar, a continuar este amor y compartir este amor. Y especialmente que terminamos estos ejercicios espirituales y nos damos cuenta del amor que nos tiene. Este amor que no solamente somos hijos de Dios, y también sobre todo somos por el sacerdocio hijos de Dios y somos Jesús, los hijos de Dios. Y con esto vemos, nosotros podemos regresar a nuestras parroquias en distintas partes del mundo y a lo mejor quisiéramos estar aquí diciendo me encantaría estar aquí y quedarme en Tierra Santa y aquí estaremos las siguientes dos semanas. Pero estamos llamados a regresar a nuestros ministerios, a servir a, al Señor, a su iglesia. <coughs> Miren la iglesia, las luces, la divinidad, la humanidad, aquí abajo y allá arriba. Miren la belleza de la creación al lado, el que nos rodea. Y recuerden que tú eres el Hijo amado de Dios en quien Dios se complace. Let's stand now and profess our faith. Oh, my.
Light, here all directs our spirit to contemplate the glory of Jesus, to listen yet to the voice of the Father who proclaims Jesus his beloved Son, the one in whom he is well pleased, and who he recommends to us, listen to him. Here, in the beauty of table, we lift up to God our prayers. Let us pray together and say, Make that we listen, Lord, to your word. Make that we listen, Lord, to your word. Lord Jesus, you who hear, revelado tu gloria a los discípulos antes de sufrir la pasión y la muerte, ilumina a tu iglesia en el camino hacia el reino y da valor y coraje a sus ministros. Es que escuchemos, Señor, tu palabra. Oh Señor, deja en nuestros ojos un reflejo de tu luz. Mantén en nuestros corazones el eco de tu voz. Y venceremos toda tiniebla y todo temor. Haz que escuchemos, Señor, tu palabra. Aquí, Moisés y Elías te señalaron, oh Señor, como el Mesías y el siervo. La ley y los profetas hallaron en ti su cumplimiento. Nosotros confesamos que tú eres Señor por siempre. Haz que escuchemos, Señor, tu palabra. Has mostrado tu rostro de luz a Moisés y Elías para revelarles el cumplimiento de las Escrituras. Haz que se intensifique cada vez más el diálogo entre judíos y cristianos en la estima y el respeto, en la común esperanza de la llegada de tu reino. Haz que escuchemos, Señor, tu palabra. Ayúdanos, Señor, a trabajar de forma concreta por la justicia y en solidaridad con las comunidades cristianas y con todos los habitantes de esta tierra santa, para que a la larga situación de violencia se transfigure por el amor y que esta tierra pueda conocer la serenidad y la paz. Señor Jesús, que aquí te has revestido de luz para anunciar la esperanza de la resurrección, ilumina con tu rostro a nuestros hermanos que mueren. Señor Jesús, que transfigurarás nuestro cuerpo de miseria para conformarlo con tu cuerpo de gloria. Líbranos del pecado y de todo mal. Haz que escuchemos, Señor, tu palabra. In the language that we all speak, en la the language de cada of uno de nosotros, let us pause for a moment and bring to this altar those dear ones that need to be to have an encounter with the risen Lord, to encounter with the transfigured cross. Let's pause for a moment and bring them all here present at this altar with us. Almighty God, who on this holy mountain you transfigured your Son, Jesus Christ, so that the disciples could contemplate his glory and could believe, seeing him crucified, that his passion was freely accepted. Grant also to us to believe and witness 
that he is your image and your splendor and lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit now forever and ever. Amen. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the of all of His church. <clears throat> Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by His radiant splendor, Cleanse us from the stains of sin. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Siempre en todo lugar. For he revealed his glory in the presence of the chosen witnesses and filled with the greatest splendor that body, bodily form which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what is so wonderfully shone forth first in its head. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis sum geni et terra, gloria tua, hosanna. We take um, Eucharistic prayer number two, page thirty-eight, trenta otto. Legaria Eucharistica dos. You are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, 
gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess and your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Benedict, our Pope, and our Patriarch, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin of Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Eugene, the Magnon, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Precetti salutaribus moniti e divina institutione formati aldemus dicere. Pater nostre, qui est in celis, sanctifice Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we, wait, we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The, uh, the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace with you, I'll preach. Peace with you. 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 Peace with you.
God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Heart with gifts 
My dear brothers, while it would be nice to pitch three tents here and remain here, it is now time to go down the mountain and witness to this great transfiguration that we know has occurred and has affected our lives. Uh, I would like to offer one reflection of God's great sense of humour. Did you not notice the bells ringing very loudly during the Eucharistic prayer? It could have been in any language. Um, and um, so it, it didn't matter what language it was in because the bells were ringing very loudly. So um, who knows, God has a great sense of humour and through our weakness, uh, in somehow provides a great strength. Uh, for those of you who might be disappointed the Mass was all in English, all I say to you is that the poor Americans would not have understood anything, at least the Spanish had translators. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord be with you. No, let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray. Transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendour you willed to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vida Dulcedo, Espes Nostra Salve, A Te Clamamus, Exumes Fili, Suspiramus gementes and flentes in hac lacrimarum vas.